Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make an animated valentine in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and what better way to show your loved one how much you care than by creating a personalized video greeting. Ready to share your love with the world? Well, let's get started. You'll see I've already started this video, but I want to start from scratch. We'll use the same basic layout, but I wanted to show you how we got here. Start by going create new video, and let's give it a title. And I don't want this horizontal format. I wanted that square one like I had before, because we're going to share it on Facebook. So what you do is you choose Facebook and Instagram right here, and that makes a nice little square. Click create. And if you recall in that opening sequence, I had a pink background. So I want to do that here. So we go to settings and you're going to click this little gear icon for custom and then custom color right here. And you just click on the little color tab and you can use your slider to get over into the pinks, pinks and purples and reds. And then you're just going to move it around until you find the color that you like. So let's go with that. So this is hex code FEE7F8. If you like that color, you can just type it right in here and click apply. So now we have a pale pink background for our Valentine's Day video. Let's go over to the props tab and we want a heart. And this is the one I used, heart shape. I did turn rainbow on for this, so I'm going to do that again. If you have rainbow, it'll work nice. If you don't have rainbow, let me turn this off again. If you slide this in, you'll see that it basically takes the color of the background and puts it inside the heart shape. For today's example, I am going to use this heart. I'll have the hand draw it on because that's kind of a fun effect. But then I want the heart to go from really small to really large. So I want to animate that. So what I want to do is start with the small heart and I'm going to click my little pencil icon. And we will have the hand draw it on, but I don't want the scribble. So I'm going to tell it to fade. And you'll see the color fades in and that looks nice. And do I want it to do three seconds? No, probably not. We'll go a second and a half. And that will be fine, but I don't like that hand style because I'm going to be using my voice and I'm female, so I don't want a male hand. So we're going to go into settings and we're going to choose a female hand. We'll use this one. So how do I get that effect where the heart grows and grows? Well, I could duplicate this scene and with each subsequent duplication, I could make the heart larger. That works great, but it does tend to look a little choppy because you have a minimum time between each scene of 0.25 seconds. So I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to take my heart and I'm going to command or control C to copy, depends on which operating system you're using and then Command or Control V to paste. So now I have two, right? And on this second one, I'm going to put a delay of 0.1 second. So a tenth of a second. And I don't want the hand to redraw it and everything. So I'm going to turn this to zero. So now it's going to just come on in a tenth of a second. And it needs to be larger like so. So if we preview it, you'll see the initial drawing and then it got bigger. So I like that. So I'm going to copy this once again and paste it and make it larger. And you'll see that it remembered the one sec point one second delay here. So I'm going to keep doing this. Control copy, control V, and then make the copied version just slightly larger. And that's probably about as big as I want to go. So let's take a quick preview. And boom, it animated on and it's full size. 
And then the next thing I want to do is think about what we are going to say. You go down to the audio tab here, click the little plus sign, and when you're ready to speak, you press this red button. So here we go. Happy Valentine's Day, my love. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. You mean the world to me. And really, that's all I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs> now that we've set the mood, it's time to start adding some of our own personal touches. So we can do this by importing photos of our significant other or of the happy couple together or various images like, you know, maybe you want Cupid and the arrows and all of that stuff. Today, I'm going to use a framed photo and I think that will be cute. And that frame is in Doodly right now. So we're going to look up photo and there it is right here, photo frame. This is the one I used earlier and I'm going to use it now. And I wanted to add my couple and here they are. Now let me point out that this photo frame is not a perfect square. It's close, but it's not perfect. So what I had to do when I was preparing my photo for upload is I needed to make it the same size. And if you'd like to use that same photo frame with a photo, I sized this picture at 981 by 1080 before I imported it. So that will work nicely, that dimension. And of course, to import a photo, you go to props, click the plus sign, and then you just browse for your photo and give it a name. That's all you do. If I control or command and click them together, that groups them. So now I can enlarge it if I'd like, or give it a little tilt and they work together as a group. And I'm going to give it just a slight tilt here and move it down. Now we can add our text. I'm just going to keep it simple. Happy Valentine's Day. We do word wrap. Click done and I'm going to center it and I'm going to change the color. I think white will look nice and then I'm just going to enlarge it. And then let's add down here. We're going to say all my love. I just copied and pasted that so it'll be the same size. And let's say this girl's name is Jenny. And that looks really good. I think maybe a little one more heart. We're almost done. I'm just going to adjust the timing on this a little bit. I don't want to spend a lot of time drawing the frame. And then I don't want my people being scribbled on. So I'm going to go to the pencil icon and I'm going to choose fade. Now they're just going to fade on. And then at the very end, we don't want it just to go away. We want to add, you know, just it can linger on Facebook for a few seconds. Let's just do seven seconds. So people can read the message and admire the photo and everything. Now let's go over to the sounds tab and let's choose sound effects. And let's scroll down to sliced swoosh <laughs> right here. So one second little effect. And I'm going to drag it down to the beginning. And we're going to have this effect come in right around here when the heart is growing. So if I go to show preview and I want to move my cursor to right about here when the heart starts to grow. And then I'm going to drag this effect down here so that it makes the effect as it's growing. Here we go. Happy Valentine's Day, my love. I'm and you could hear there is that little swoosh. Now next, I want to add some music. So go to categories and now we're going to look at music. And I had earlier listened to some songs and there was one down here, Pleasant and Pure. I thought that would work fine. So I want to add that, but you'll notice I added a sound effect here so I don't have a track. So if I click on these little buttons and choose add track, now I have a track just for my music. I'm going to move it down. 
And what I want to do, because I do have a voiceover, I want to click on the speaker and I'm going to turn the music down quite a bit. I'll try 13%. And let's move the voiceover track. We won't start talking until about three or four seconds in. And then over here, let's slide this down. And then finally, right click, choose fade out. And then we'll make it a nice slow fade by dragging this. So right here is where the voice says Happy Valentine's Day. So let's use our preview to see when it starts drawing the words. So right, right about there. So I'm just going to slide this down so that my voice comes on saying it as the hand is writing it. So one final look and we will be done. Happy Valentine's Day, my love. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. You mean the world to me. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to create your own animated Valentine's Day video. Thanks for watching.